Hey guys, welcome to the Coco Rex channel and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin market cycle which I think is the most important thing to understand when it comes to trading or investing in cryptocurrencies. Just a quick disclaimer, nothing I say should be used as financial advice. I'll only be sharing my analysis, therefore please do your own research before you make any financial decisions. So let's get straight to it. So I'll be doing a little bit analysis on the previous market cycles where I think we are in this current market cycle and where we could be headed. Now I've heard a lot of numbers being thrown out there for the peak bull market prediction um, from 300,000 to a million and sometimes even over and I don't think we'll get that high and I'm going to tell you why. What a lot of people don't understand is over time Bitcoin's market cycles are lengthening and diminishing returns. All right, This data goes far back as 2010 and if we have a look at the first bull market it lasted about 252 days but gave us massive returns of about 320,000 percent. Okay, it was followed by a brief bear market then an even longer bull market. 728 days returns of 56,000 percent. Then it was followed by an even longer bear market and an even longer bull market. 1000 days approximately 11,000 percent. Now let's have a look at the current market cycle. So what I've done here is overlaid data from the previous bull markets into this bull market. Okay, as you can see, diminishing returns and lengthening cycles. Now the problem with this bull market was that not only did it keep pace with the previous bull market, it outpaced it. Which is why we're getting this extended mid-cycle correction. I do believe this is a mid-cycle correction and not a bear market. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But let's just study this bull market for, for a second. Now, if we were to get the same returns as this previous bull market, we would see Bitcoin at around 300,000. Alright? And even more, possibly. However, Bitcoin doesn't work like that. We are getting diminishing returns and lengthening cycles. So this bull market could extend out longer than people expect it to. Okay? Now, as Mark Twain once said, history doesn't always repeat itself, but sure does rhyme. And in my opinion, Bitcoin rhymes. Although all market cycles are different, they all have their own personalities and traits, uh, there are certain key similarities. All market cycles have a bear market, a bull market, and a mid-cycle correction within a bull market. Now, where we are in the current market cycle, I'm going to do a bit of analysis using Fibonacci. To those of you that don't know Fibonacci, I highly suggest you do a bit of research in it because to me, the magical numbers that reflect the emotions of a market and identify key levels. When I'm trading, I don't take an entry without a Fibonacci confirmation. All right? So let's do a little bit of analysis, macro analysis. I'm just going to clear my chart. Now let's have a look. Now before I start, I would like to give credit to Crypto Picasso for introducing me and teaching me this form of analysis, uh, but I'll be adding my own take on it. So let's have a look. What I'm going to do is draw the Fibonacci retracement tool from the peak of this bull market down to the bottom of this bear market. And the key level we need to watch out for is this 1.618 extension. All right. So once price crosses that 1.618 extension, we get a mid cycle correction. And the bottom for that mid cycle correction is the 1.618 extension, as you can see here, 2013 cycle. But, and then we got this ne next leg up for that bull market. Okay, now let's have a look at the next cycle. Drawing Fibonacci from the peak down to the bottom of that bear market there, as accurate as possible. And once we cross the 1.618 extension, we get a mid cycle correction. And the bottom for that mid cycle correction is that Fibonacci level. Now, this is the current uh, market cycle peak down to the bottom. And look where we are now. And this is why I believe that this is a mid cycle correction rather than a full blown bear market because Bitcoin has rhymed, okay? The market cycles might not repeat itself over and over again, but there is a certain pattern you can see, okay? Now, something else that I've found is that 
once we get this mid cycle correction it starts to it starts the next leg up of the bull market from july if you have a look here 2013 mid july we got the next leg up after that 618 extension same in the next cycle after this mid cycle correction bottomed out at the 1.618 level and then the next leg up for the bull market happened in July, mid-July 2017. This is the current market cycle. 1.618 extension, that's where we are now. And if you have a look at the month, we're currently in July. And this is why I'm not selling. Look, anything can happen in crypto. Uh, if, there, if there's anything I've learned, anything can happen. But based on this analysis, I'm not selling. And I don't think this is a bear market just yet. Now I know there's a lot of fear in the market at the moment. There's a lot of bearish news, a lot of bearish uh, signs, but as they say, buy the fear, sell the greed. All right. So based on this analysis, this is my buy zone here. Okay. Uh, but with crypto, anything can happen, right? So this theory would be invalidated if we started getting daily closes below this level, but only time will tell. Okay. Now. That's where I think we are at the moment, and in a mid-cycle correction. Now, where do I think we're going? To, to sort of analyze that, I'm also going to use this Fibonacci tool here. If I change this to 40.618, that was the peak of this bull market cycle, right? Now, for this next cycle, if I change that to 20.618, that was the peak of the next bull market cycle. Now for this, logically, that means it would be the 10.618 because we've got 40, 20, 10, diminishing returns, okay? So the target would be around 178,000. So that is a more realistic target for me uh, than 300,000, right? Now when do I think we'll get there? Only time will tell. But I'll attempt to do a little bit of analysis on that, okay? So a lot of you would have seen this logarithmic re uh, regression curve. Alright, so I'll just quickly try and analyze this. So if the target is 178,000, when do I think we'll get there? Well, based on this model, we could see that price around May. May, April next year, all right? So that would be a realistic target for me based on all the analysis and all these models. Me personally, I don't like price predictions because when I first got started, I used to listen to these price predictions. For example, in 2017, uh, 100,000 Bitcoin, 200,000 Bitcoin. These numbers were being thrown out there and I listened to them and um, I got burned very badly because I was waiting for those prices. Now, uh, over time, I, I studied a bit. I, I did my own research, analysis. I listened to a lot of people that, that know and understand this market. So I do appreciate a good analysis based on the data and tools that are available to me out there because this allows me to set realistic targets for my trades and investments. For yourself, Please do your own analysis and research if you can and um, do not listen to these outrageous price predictions all right? because they're going to leave you in a very bad position uh, in the near future. right? So for yourself, please do what you're comfortable with. If you want to, you can buy now. If you want to sell, you can do so, but it's whatever you're comfortable with. All right? Main thing to understand is we are getting diminishing returns. And we are getting lengthening cycles so do not expect the same results as we've had in the past because we're not going to get that i don't think so anyway but you never know with crypto all right thank you for listening to me uh, this is the first video for crypto racks we've got a lot more videos coming up not just on crypto we've got forex we've got stocks we've got nfts so please like and subscribe if you want to be uh, kept up to date on our content don't forget to follow uh, Twitter and Telegram. Uh, I'm going to leave the links to links in the description below. And thank you very much for listening. Have a good day. Peace out.